updated. There's an assassin here! My ship, soldier. I was told there would be another fleet of eight. I'm sorry, Maria, but this is the best we could do. It's barely big enough to hold our cargo. How do you propose to get the rest of us to Cyprus? Begging your pardon, but it might be better if you stayed in Accra. What is that? A threat? It's fair warning. Armand Bouchard is Grand Master now, and he doesn't hold you in high regard. Why, you insolent! Very well, this ship is yours. I'll find my own way to Limassol. Yes, my lady. Damn! I was a single heartbeat from knighthood. Now I'm little more than a mercenary. Well, what a surprise! The man who spared my neck, but stole my life. <sighs> Return to finish me off. Not just yet. I want information. Why are the Templars sailing for Cyprus? It's been a long... Dirty war, assassin. Everyone deserves a holiday. The more you tell me, the longer you'll live. So I'll ask again, why the retreat to Cyprus? What retreat? King Richard has brokered a truce with Saladin, and your order is leaderless, is it not? Once we recover the Apple of Eden, you'll be the one running. I'll save my breath. 
The Apple of Eden is well hidden. Altair, consider your options carefully. The Templars would pay you a great price for that relic. They already have, haven't they? What's happening on Cyprus that would concern the Templars? Civil strife, perhaps. Their Emperor Isaac Komnenis picked a fight with King Richard many months ago. And now he rots in a Templar dungeon. A pity. Isaac was so easily bent, so willing to take a bribe. Ah, those days are past. Now the Templars own the island, purchased from the King for a paltry sum. Ah, well that's not the kind of governance we want to encourage. Do we have any contacts there? I know of one in Limasol. A man named Alexander. Send him a message. Tell him to expect me within the week. Yes, Altair. If there is good to be found in this artifact, I will discover it. But... If it is only capable of inspiring evil and despair, I hope I possess the strength to destroy it.